Okay, welcome to this product demo where we're going to show you the correct procedure for doing the finger lance and applying a sample to the test strip in a haemoglobin meter made by Easy Life. In the first part of this video that you may have already watched, we've set the meter up with the batteries and it's all ready to go. So to power up the meter, all you have to do is apply a test strip into the top port. You'll see the display showing and the blood droplet flashing indicating it's ready to take its first sample. Now it will go on flashing while that test strip remains in there, so there's plenty of time to do your lance. Now taking the auto lancing device, you are going to apply a lancet into the device and by pushing it down it will automatically preload the lance device. Remove the cap and you've got the sharp lance which is sterile in the tip of the 28G lancet. Okay, I've got this setting on 5 which is the deeped lance setting. My fingers are nice and warm. A key contributory factor is your capillary flushing. You'll see my fingers are quite nice and flushed with blood at the moment. They're warm. If you're cold and shut down peripherally and you try and do a lance you're not going to get sufficient blood sample without squeezing your finger. You start squeezing your finger when you're doing a haemoglobin reading on a capillary sample and all you're squeezing out is plasma serum. Very few of the red cells are going to be squeezed out. You're going to get an abnormally low reading. The other way is you can sometimes concentrate it and get an abnormally high. The point is you, you don't want to try and squeeze the finger to form that blood sample for this test. You want it to form totally naturally. So apply the lance firmly onto the finger pulp release the trigger and you have a blood sample forming. Okay, now we're just going to wait for that to form. So we've got a decent sample for this and that will take probably about five to ten seconds. You've got plenty of time, there's no rush, waiting for your sample to form. And when it has formed nice and naturally, you then apply it onto the side port. You'll see it being sucked through the test strip which goes dark, starts the countdown and there is your blood count displayed. Now importantly on this, this is in grams per deciliter. If it is not showing in grams per deciliter you need to open the battery port on the reverse and click the switch inside upwards or downwards depending on where it's pointing so that it switches from millimoles per litre into grams per deciliter. So there we go, 14.2 grams per deciliter which is a good indication of a healthy male haemoglobin level. Now that is in the memory, so if I just put that down, it will continue to display that. I'm just going to dab my sample finger. If you take the test strip out now, which you can do, and that can be disposed of. If you now come back to the meter, to see your previous readings, press the M button, it shows memory 1, and then the reading. If you press it again, it goes for memory 2, and the reading. And you can scroll through the memories on the, the, the meter using the memory function. Okay, if you press S at any one time, it will just clear it back to zero. Leave it, and that will then switch itself off after a couple of seconds. So that is the correct procedure for getting an accurate haemoglobin reading from a capillary blood sample. When you're done with the lancet, remove the cover, push the lancet down into the plastic cover on the side, like such, and that covers the element of the lancet quite safely, that can be disposed of. Put the cover back on the lancet. You can preload a lancet into it, but to keep them nice and sterile until the point of use, it's best really to load the lancet just before you're ready to take the next sample.